Hello and welcome to this YouTube video where I want to visually compare some of the universal ESR GAN models. And because I started to use an application called Chainer to upscale images and they link to this upscale wiki model database um, where you can use a model for your upscaling, a pre-trained model, and you can see there are a lot of specific um, you know, models, and even if you go to universal models for image upscaling and video upscaling, um, you can see there are still a lot. Now, there are textual descriptions of what they do, but I couldn't find a visual comparison online to see what they actually look like, the results they produce. So I thought I'd do a quick video. Um, now, what I did is I used those universal ES organ models. Um, I couldn't use this one because this one would actually give me an, an error message that it's not supported by Chainer. Um, but I used the other ones. And now what I did is I used some images. Um, most are photos of mine. Uh, one with faces in it, then from hiking landscape images, um, PC builds, a drawing or rather a painting I did. Um, images I generated with Midjourney AI. A screenshot of a movie I believe is in the public domain and some game graphics from the Freedom Project, which you can find here. Of course, I provide the link uh, in the descriptions. Um, so what I did is I would upscale the pictures, all the pictures with all the models. And then I did first I did a cropped zoomed in, you know, image comparison. So we can see it all at once, but then I thought like a slider comparison would be more useful for this example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go show you three examples. Um, so the body image, the hike image and the woofy image. Um, so we can compare them with the sliders, all the models. And we're going to go through this and I'm also going to make a selection of which one I think is the best for this image. Now, this is very subjective. Um, and for this case, I also in the video description provide all the links to the comparisons so you can actually do it yourself because I think you will profit most um, this way. And, you know, have a, have a look at the video description. I provide all the links and data in there. Um, but now to compare this video, we will actually zoom in into a specific area. And now uh, it can be a little bit tricky because if we zoom in and now I would like to zoom maybe into this ear, I can't just hover my mouse over here because what will happen is it jumps to the actual place to where my mouse was hovering in the unzoomed image. Um, so. This can be a little bit tricky when zooming in, so I need to hover my mouse here to actually hit it here. So I think that's that's a good shot. And now we can start comparing the models. You can see them on both sides. Now I'm gonna choose the next model here, Remarkery, and then we can compare how this one looks compared to the other. Now I like this model way more from the quality. So we're going to keep this on the left side and continue on the right side here. Um, fuzzy box, I still like the left one more. Cyax. Um, and now I, I actually like it. I think it's sharper and I think it gives more details. If you look at the beard here, um, I think it gives more details. And I also like what it does with the wall texture here. If you keep that in mind, I think it produces way more details. So I actually like this one best so far. So let's keep this one. Let's continue here. And so we can just compare all the models or the upscaled images with those models here. Um, like I said, this is very subjective. So I provide all the links so you can actually do this yourself. And if you want to, you can actually jump in the timeline of the video to the final result, like where compared to selected with the original image. Uh, now, something I want to show is, um, I think areas to keep in mind are this ear and the eyes. And 
you know i think it loses details here but if you look at the eyes um it actually messes up the eye like the eye looks unnatural with this upscaler here for this image and so you can actually you know when continue comparing because from now on i believe most of them actually mess up the eyes um but those are some good areas to keep in mind when upscaling um, for this comparison. So I just continue to go through the models so you can actually see the difference. I still like the Syx one more. Yeah. Okay, so I think I like the Syx one more. I'm going to show you now the final comparison of what this is the original image and now this is what the upscaler actually produced. So yes, so that one was the first image example. Now we're going to jump into the second one. Um, this is from a hike I did. And I think a good area to select is actually this tree here. Let's do it like this. So we can start comparing like before. Uh, I think this is higher details, higher quality. So I'm going to keep this one. I think I'm going to still keep the other one. Now, sometimes there are cases, like I think it's funny how this, there are it seems to be like there are more, uh, there is more green here than, than it is here, more leaves actually. Um, but sometimes, sometimes it's hard for me to actually establish a favorite because I think, I believe they are of similar quality, but um, you know, I'm just gonna go with this one for now. And you know, this one looks more blurry, but less pixelated. So it's sometimes hard for me to actually make a decision on which one I like better. Um, let's take this one. They're, they're sometimes very similar. But we're just gonna go through all the models. Um, the funny thing is, I already did this comparison with all the images, so I already I already know which one will be my favorite selection for this image, or for all the others too. Um, So I actually like this one best. I think it gives the most details for this image. And to show the final comparison, I already have a zoomed in selection of this image. And this is the original image. You can see very pixelated, a big blob. And then I think it's astonishing what the upscaling actually generates, like the details in it. I, I think it's mind blowing. Like you can see here, there are some green pixels next to the dark ones, like for example, here and here. Um, and then it's like, oh, well, it's easy. That's like grass 
in a crack. I I don't know. I think it's mind blowing what what some of these do, and you, you know you can even see the difference here with fully if I'm fully zoomed out. Uh, good. Then the last example will be Woofy. Let's take you know maybe some of the eye and some of the hair here. I think that's a good area here. So you know let's continue. And already, you know, look at the detail of the hair. For example, at this edge of the eye, just the details it produces. I like this way better. Um, then you can look at the fuzzy box. And sometimes the difference isn't that big. It just looks way smoother here. Um, so I'm going to keep this one. And with Sykes, especially with Sykes, I think they're very similar. But it just looks the sharpening is too much. It, it looks smoother here, I believe. Um, so I like this one actually best <laughs> of all of them. But I'm going to go through all the models so you can see the actual comparison here. So yeah, so I like this one best. So now we're going to compare it with the original image. Um, this one. And zoom in again. So you can see the actual difference between this pixelated version and then this upscaled version. So yeah. I think it's mind-blowing what they all can do. Like I said, I just wanted to visually show the comparison of all the models in these examples. Um, but you yourself can actually do this um, with all the links provided in the video description. And yes, um, thank you for watching.